last one. Yep. Lighting a candle is a simple yet profound act. It is a testimony to the power of light over darkness, something we will experience later during the candle lighting. A few weeks ago, we began our journey through Christmas and lit the first candle of Advent, the hope or prophecy candle. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call himself Emmanuel. The root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations. In him, the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit a few weeks ago we lit the second candle of advent the peace candle let us remember our need for a savior to save us from our sins and give us peace with god josh uh, for us uh, to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on our shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and over, and on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. This Sunday, we lit the candle of joy. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring, I bring you good news that, that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of, David's, of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Monday, we lit the love candle. For God so loved the world that he gave his, only, his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have ever eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus Christ is a true reason for hope, peace, joy, and love in, the, in this season and forever. As we light the Christ candle, celebrating the end of Advent and the arrival of Christ and Christmas, let us remember how our Savior came once as a lowly baby, and the world through him might be saved, and how he will return one day in glory. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the Word, and through the Word was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He came to them which was his own. But his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children were born, born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a hum husband will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and the truth. When Jesus spoke again to the people, He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The stars are brightly shining, it is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he Oh, 
Christmas. Uh, I'm here trying to imitate Ben. I don't have a fireplace here, but I put one there for some ambiance to set the mood for a Christmas video. Today's Christmas Eve, and I don't know what your family traditions are. Uh, growing up, my parents would put us to bed, and I would have the opportunity to go downstairs and sleep uh, in my sister's bedroom. I would wake up early in the morning, anticipating what could the present be? What what would it be this year? And we would talk and we would we would guess. And some of my favorite presents over the years, um, I still have my 
my present from uh, 1996, uh, when I was a teenager, I would always ask for a Madden for my birthday, an NHL for Christmas. And that was usually what I got. This is a Sega Genesis. Yes, I still have it. And uh, I love that because I love hockey. Another one of my favorite uh, Christmas presents of all time was hockey gloves. And these are not the same hockey gloves. These are actually my kids' hockey gloves because I use those gloves so much that I destroyed them. But I loved hockey. And so um, one year I just said, I need hockey gloves. Because when you're playing hockey, when people's sticks go, or stick goes up, your stick, it hits your hands, you get all sorts of cuts and stuff, and you fall, you scrape your hands. And so these were some of my favorite gifts. So the best gifts. And every year you'd, you'd wait and you'd anticipate, you'd wonder, what is the gift going to be? And when we celebrate Christmas, you know, there's lots of different gifts. And I know in our family, um, the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve tonight, would be the night that when the kids go to bed, we get out all their presents and we put them under the Christmas tree and they wake up excited uh, because there's a gift and they're wondering what could it be well 2,000 years ago we got the best gift that was ever given God gave us his son and John 3:16 says God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will have eternal life and so essentially what God did was give us that gift, but we still have to receive it. We have to get it. We have to open it. Because it says whoever believes in him will receive eternal life. So that gift has been given to all. But it's only for those who receive it. Ephesians 2 uh, says it's by faith, by grace we are saved. Through faith. It's not of ourselves. It's the free gift of God. So God has offered us this amazing gift of salvation. And all we have to do is receive it and put our faith and trust in Jesus as the Savior of the world. In, in Romans it says that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's the best Christmas gift ever. It's the best gift ever given to anyone that God gave his only son. But also, as we get to Christmas, sometimes we forget the reason for Christmas. Sometimes we don't recognize the the power of that gift. I remember one Christmas, I was super excited because my favorite TV show was Silverhawks. It only lasted one season. It was people that were partly metal and partly real, Silverhawks. And that Christmas, the hot gift for the Silverhawks was this amazing, I don't, I don't, I just have a picture because I didn't get it, no offense parents, but there were five Silverhawks and they would come shooting out of these things with wings and I was so excited to get that Christmas and that Christmas I got something else and I was kind of devastated and that was because I had kind of put my hope in having that gift and I lost sight uh, of uh, the other things that God had provided me an amazing family uh, all the great gifts that they gave us that Christmas and sometimes uh, we tend to lose sight of what's important and Christmas time is a time that that easily happens where we get so focused on all the things we want. We get so focused on our kids and getting them the things that we want that we forget the real reason why we celebrate. We forget the real gift, the greatest gift. And that's that little baby boy born in Bethlehem, that special gift that God gave for us. So this Christmas, let's appreciate that gift but let's, set, let's share that gift with everyone that we know, that they are offered salvation, that God sent his only son to provide life so that they can have eternal life. And if you don't have yet have that gift, if you haven't received it yet, God has offered it, but you haven't received it, please talk to me. Please call me. Please call our church, North Park Baptist Church. Go on our website, grandrapids.church. Look us up. We love to share the good news about Jesus Christ and help you receive that gift today. If you only receive it, then you'll receive the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. So have a great Christmas. Remember what's important and enjoy a wonderful holiday as we celebrate the birth of our Lord. Good night.